The year 2024 budget of inclusiveness and infrastructural development by Apapa Igomuel CDA was formally inaugurated during a three-day retreat at Osmak Hotels and Events Center in Ibadan, Oyo State. This took place in the presence of the executive members, management team, and other staff. Speaking at the event, Fumilayo Akonde Mohamed, the executive chairman of Apapa Igomu Local Council Development Area, said the retreat is a significant step towards comprehensive development of initiatives. The last year budget, we give God the glory that we are able to make at least 85% of the budget. And the remaining one, we are going to start from there, from this uh, budget, the new budget of 2024. So we pray that God will mercy help us so that we will be able to achieve what our people need. We called stakeholder about three days ago to inform them all what we have been doing so far and what remain, and what other things they will need from us. The council chairman officially declared the year 2024 budget open where she emphasized the importance of inclusiveness and infrastructural development in the local government area. We include everybody. We carry them alone. We want to know their mind and we want to know what they need. And by God's grace, we help uh, on matter of infrastructure, we are going to touch all areas, education, health, road, and every other thing. As of today, we are able to have like 18 interlocking roads, 18 interlocking roads. We do poverty elevation regularly, even when we want to do 100 days. We give our youth, uh, Korokwe, Marua, to the party loyalists, we give them the grand mansion, and we have a student at our vocational center, about 300 students, which we are going to do graduation for and buy them their equipment. Mrs. Modukba Dekola, head of budget planning, research and statistics, gave a comprehensive overview of the year 2024 budget and emphasized inclusive projects that cater to the diverse needs of the community, coupled with strategic investment in infrastructure to propel sustainable development. The chairman has always been doing so many and they should expect more. This time it's going to be even more better than the before because it is going to be an inclusive one. They will be very, very much carried along. They've always been carried along, but they will be more carried along than, than before. For those that feel that they are, they, are, they are being marginalized, they are now being carried along more. The physically challenged, the visible, the, the vulnerable and others will be carried along. Yeah, our retreat is always, it's always a perfect one where we usually discuss whatever issues that we take away from our stakeholder in our Pai Gomu LCD, from our people in our Pai Gomu LCD. We always take it down to the retreat and we always make sure we discuss it extensively so that the people of our Pai Gomu can be the primary and even the secondary beneficiary of the retreat. We can only encourage her to do more by supporting her to give her our full support with the school and the people of our Pai Gomu so that she can do more for the people. You know, people are Oliver Twist, they keep on asking for more. And she cannot do everything at, at, at the same time. We will do it one by one. We have been doing it and we have done a lot, which they believe that we can still do more better. And that is why we are here to look at what and what that we can you know, uh, provide for them or that we can do for them in 2024. We are able to do palliative. It's not a small one, a very big one, and we are going to do more. Christmas is coming, I'm preparing myself to do more palliative, more than before. So God will help us. <laughs>